80 degrees in March? I think it's time to wash the project car. Welcome back to my channel once again. So here is my very first car, a 2007 Hyundai Tiburon. Um, I still have so much emotional attachment left to this car and having this little cleaning session, it, it really it really meant a lot to me. So I don't really drive this car very often. As you guys know, I still have uh, the Camaro that I daily drive. So this car has kind of been off to the side a little bit, but um, I just wanted to spruce it up today, introduce it to you guys. Sorry for all the background noise. It's a windy day, and since it's warm out, everybody's outside. So um, I can get into a few of the uh, cosmetic additions that I have done to this car over the past couple of years. For starters, I have painted my door handles. I added this black stripe. It came with a white stripe, but I wanted the black to kind of go with the black accents that I have. Painted the gas cap black spoiler black as well i think it looks really really good and that's different yes i'm currently missing a door handle i just ordered it in the mail and it came today so i will be putting that on in the very near future maybe not this first video but the next video in case you guys were wondering my car's name is zim if anyone remembers the cartoon invader zim I got a lot of inspiration from this cartoon, mainly because when I first saw this car before I brought it home, I was like, you know, this car is small, kind of loud, and it seems like it demands a lot of attention. And for some reason, I instantly thought of a cartoon character that small, loud, demands attention. Invader Zim. Might not be the brightest cartoon character out there, but, you know, it, it was very entertaining to me. And this car, you know, it's not perfect. I will say that. It is 11 years old now, and it has its share of problems, which I'll get into, but I still really enjoy this car to this day. Give it a nice little walk around. Out the front. There we go. There's two cosmetic ideas that I'm having a hard time trying to decide which one I should do, so I want you guys to help me out and leave your suggestions in the comments. I either want to, for my next cosmetic edition, I want to paint these wheels black. They have spray paint kits at auto repair stores. I was thinking about doing something like that. Um, spray paint a few coats of black on there and then have a couple coats of clear coat on top of that. Should be, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks. I'm not sure if I need to get more than one package. So I could do that. Or a second cosmetic edition would be uh, doing something with these headlights. As you can see, they've been kind of peeling right here at the top. I got these taken care of before, but I guess it's kind of a 
lingering problem if a car reaches a certain age. So I'm definitely gonna get these touched up one more time, but I'm wondering if I should change the headlight setup, if I should get maybe um, some halogen lights so they could be a little bit brighter. I think it would look really good with this car. So as I said, I'll be installing the door handle very soon. As far as engine upgrades, I'm thinking about maybe doing something with the headers. I've heard a header should increase the exhaust flow, therefore giving it a little bit more boost. So I'm thinking about doing my research into that or I could be considering a cold air intake. I'll give you guys a good little uh, snapshot of the engine if you haven't seen a Tiburon engine bay already. All right, and here's our engine. So there's the air intake box that will be replaced with a cold air intake and the headers be installed. Let's see, this cap is kind of covering where that would take place but I'm sure if I get it installed, um, I'll be sure to record the whole process in case anyone is wondering doing any of these upgrades for their own Hyundai Tiburon. And another upgrade that I got was a nice size subwoofer. Got the amp to go with it. I believe this is 12 inch diamond. And I'll be sure to let you guys know the size of the subwoofer. My boyfriend actually got this installed and I, <laughs> he helped me get it installed and I can't remember what size uh, this subwoofer actually is. So don't worry, I'll be sure to add it inside the video once I find out. But it sounds very nice going down the road and it just makes driving this even more enjoyable. Here's a little snapshot of the interior. In case anyone was wondering, door panels here gauge cluster 160 on the dash not anything that I wouldn't expect from a Tiburon here's our steering wheel I have a little cover here this steering wheel is a lot worse than the Camaro steering wheel that I showed you guys in my previous video introducing my 2010 Camaro SS if you haven't seen that please check that out um, but this steering wheel is a lot worse than that so I absolutely had to get a cover for that um, so it looks a lot better it has a slight little red trim which goes along with the um, lights once these are all on. These lights end up being a combination of blue and red, which work out really well for this light setup. Oh no, it's another automatic. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't worry, I'll be learning soon. But here's the rest of the interior. There are back seats, but once again, you're not gonna get much, so don't expect much. Oh look, I have a sunroof. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about having a sunroof. And look, better sun visors than my Camaro. Much better. They cover a lot more. So there's a little snapshot of the interior of this 2007 Hyundai Tiburon. Like I said, it's a very fun car to customize, uh, to modify, to upgrade, to make your own. So I'm really excited for some of the projects that I could, could be coming to this car in the future. So, but I want you guys' input because of course I'm making videos for you guys and I want you guys to tell me what you would like to see with this car. It's not gonna be in every video. It might be an infrequent kind of on and off checking in on the progress or the status of this car. So I want you guys to let me know what you would like to see. Between the two cosmetic options, what would you like to see first? Getting the wheels painted black or getting the headlights touched up? And as far as uh, exhaust and engine upgrades, that's going to be a little bit later down the road. I have to do a little bit more research on that. But let me know what you guys would prefer to see first. Headers, if I should do that, or if I would be better benefited by a cold air intake. I also have to research and check the prices on something like that. So, like I said, it's, it's a lot of searching around on my part, but I value you guys' opinion. So, if you have a recommendation of what kind of headers I should go with or maybe uh, how much they cost or something like that, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but this was just kind of a quick little introductory video uh, to show you guys my two main cars. Um, like I said, my Camaro is the daily, love that car to death. Um, and this car holds a, will always hold a special place in my heart. Um, and I really look forward to some of the upgrades that will be coming to this car in the very near future. So I had to kind of come in here to escape the uh, the wind noise. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video that I have here. 
and if you have any other suggestions even um for future videos i'm i'm all ears like i said i'm just getting started but i have a lot more coming you guys' way so please stay tuned if you hit that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and since my uploading schedule is a little here and there right now i'm trying to get into a good rhythm trying to post twice a week but if you want to make sure that you don't miss when i post a video after you hit subscribe if you hit the little notification bell right next to it you'll be notified as soon as i upload a video so that would be awesome but stay tuned guys and i'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this please hit that like button and i'll see you guys next time take it easy